Hey, ladies and gentlemen, just wanted to give you an update on what I got going on here in the burner factory of life force. So first thing here is a Gozanti inspired by the particular model from Mandalorian. Let's see if I can pull that up here. Oh, that's not it. Yeah, this one right here. So this one's kind of different from the other ones. It's got somewhat of a, uh, a thick head. <laughs> a thick front which i prefer over say that one there it's kind of a slender thing um yeah so using that as inspiration uh this is what i got so far so i'm looking at a couple configurations here would probably use it as a uh, so one option would be like a as a uh, base starter so it wouldn't have any thrusters um if you could think of like a Janus, something like that, operate as a base, you'd have a constructor in it, and you just build it up from there, eventually adding thrusters and weapons and that sort of thing. So that would kind of be this idea here, just kind of stripped out. Um, so I'd have like uh, faux thrusters and stuff, you know, make that look a little more presentable. Uh, but as far as like the cost here, just uh, looking at Reforge even, so. Uh, something like that. Uh, as far as like the cargo systems, we're looking at three three twenty plus some supplemental. I think it's two thirty two k and a couple other uh, miscellaneous boxes. Um, so I'd probably do two configurations. So one would be a starter base, and then uh, something like this. I guess I'd have a link on the workshop page to something that's a little more filled out. Um, and then as you eventually upgrade it, it uh, it's pretty robust uh, from a starter to this thing here. <laughs> so, you know, maybe instead of like artillery, you could convert it to a mining vessel. Might make a little more sense, but uh, it's got space for a good amount of components, devices, uh, shield extender, stuff like that. Looking at like a... Um, so you can get Core 9 and a couple Ox added onto it. It should be doing all right. Um, go ahead and take a tour on the inside. Um, I guess before we do that, though, I should mention, like, this, these bottom sections here, these will be able to house four tie enforcers. So, kind of staying with the theme of the Gozanti, where it's got the little tie fighters there at the bottom like that. So, something like that, except it would be tie enforcers. Um, yeah, let's take a look on the inside. Got, or do they got a little bit of... You know, trying to stay on point with the whole little radar thing going on there. It looks pretty cool. Uh, I'm liking it. Pretty cool build. Digging it. Let's go ahead and take a tour on the inside. Show you what we got. So, fairly respectable hangar space here. Uh, it's so it's designed to expand to take out these blocks and uh, place uh, shield extenders or constructors, maybe even some additional generators if you need to do that. But we do have some generator placement already, so it may not need to come to that. Um, so we have our this is what's going to be stock right here. Two of these thrust, um, sorry, generators. Uh, they'll be able to upgrade to some larges right there. And then we're looking at this whole placement up here. This will house you a advanced generator. And then some of the larges here you could slot on the side. Uh, so it would essentially be the value of two advanced generators. Or if you wanted to, maybe you want to rotate things around. This could be your advanced generator placement here. So plenty of options there. Um, just looking at the shield extender rooms, it's the medium sized shield parts. So, if you utilize the hangar space and these compartments here, as well as this particular room, so this would be an optional farm. So, you're looking at an 18 grow plot. Now, however, if you wanted to, you could repurpose this as shield extenders. So, with that configuration, that'll give you the eight small and eight medium. Pretty respectable loadout, especially if you manage to squeeze in a Bastion shield. A um, couple things here. We got a drone hatch. We have 
uh, ladder leading up to it. So I'm like looking at maybe making a, this could be like a, a landing deck. Uh, I think we're going to be doing like an optional repair bay right here. But we also have one, a spot designated here in the hangar if you want to do that. Um, CPU placement right here on either side. This would be CPU placement as well. So enough space to get your your core nine uh, additional auxiliary as well if you want to slot that in. So another thing we got here is our deployment room. So this will be full medical suite here. Currently in the hangar, and it's got a partial medical suite, but you could always expand that. Uh, we do have a warp drive here, but I'm still kind of playing out what would be optimal configuration. So this could be, maybe this might not be a warp drive. Maybe that might be the generator placement, and then the warp drive goes back here. So still trying to figure that out, what's what's optimal. You know, this maybe this is even shield parts instead of down here or in, or in the side. So I'm still trying to work that out, what's optimal as far as the uh, generator output and such. Um, and then also this could be reutilized for generators too. So there's a number of configurations that you can go with. Uh, plenty of options on how to configure that. Um, yeah, so, so we're looking at like uh, all feel. So we want to get this thing at, as a starter cost. Now that would be for the uh, just the hull, uh, this base version here. So we'll certainly be doing all steel on that. So if I do go ahead and do like a alternate upload here with uh, some thrusters slotted in, some weapons and stuff like that. So maybe I might look at upgrading some of the uh, the hull to combat steel, or I don't possibly nah, maybe not Zeno. you know uh, hardened steel for sure, maybe combat. Uh, let me know what your thoughts are on that. So, uh, yeah, once that's um, upgraded, we've got quite a bit of uh, shield potential for one thing. It's uh, 91,000 with the Bastion shield. It's kind of what we're looking at here, fully upgraded. So, yeah, a number of configurations you can do between where to place the generators. Uh, if you do want to do that much, you know. Maybe instead of this, this could be like additional grow plots. You could have another farm here, potentially. I'll see about working that out. See if I can get something there on the top. Get a grow plot light. So, and maybe we want to do that. Um, yeah, I'll mess with it a little bit, see what comes out of it. Maybe some more additional grow plot options. That's sort of, sort of a hallmark of starters is having... It's it's got 18, but maybe some people want more out of a starter, so that could be a thing. So the other thing we're looking at here is this is going to be a Z95 headhunter that I'm working on. If anybody not familiar with the Star Wars universe, this is the thing that precedes a X-wing. So kind of a uh, a fixed wing formation. You don't have like the the X's that the, or the X configuration that the X-wing does. Um, S foils, they call it. <laughs> so, I, kind of like a, uh, a medium fighter, still working through this thing as well, working out the internal complace or internal placement. Um, so this could fit a jump drive here, and you could also slot in a shield down here as well. Number of other devices, but still kind of finessing that. Like, do we want to go more cargo or? Just got to check on like what the energy needs are for that and stuff. Um, yeah, so just a real brief look. Uh, Gozanti should be coming out shortly, maybe within the week. Um, this thing I'm not certain on. It, there's really not a whole lot left to do for it. Uh, it's just the thing is that after the Gozanti, I have the Quasar planned. Uh, another look at that for anybody not familiar with it. A quasar would be a carrier, or it could be converted into a warship, or something in between. The real quick look. 
So as a carrier, would have options, not mandatory. It would have options to add in these, uh, all the shield parts, um, fusion reactors here. It will have a option to expand the cargo. These rooms are going to be just for that. And we'll have some onboard cargo, but also, uh, like other carriers, it's going to be able to house or dock um, three of the Helios modules. So that's something I'd like to work on too, is uh, some sort of uh, Star Wars Helios type module, something of the same size. So, But ideally it would be interchangeable with the uh, some of the bigger CVs that are using the Helios modules and stuff like that. So don't want to stray too far from that. So uh, three of those, the, the top sled here, that's going to be quite a hauler. Uh, it's pretty big. Uh, very light on armor. Now there's a little bit of um, combat steel and such on the front, combat xeno, that sort of thing. Uh, but for the most part, just kind of like an emergency stopgap warship. Uh, maybe your primary ship got in a situation where it got blown up, but it's recoverable. So maybe this could be converted to go rescue that ship. You know, something to that effect. Or maybe a hybrid. You know, just I'll leave that up to you. I'll leave a lot of customizable options and stuff. Uh, yeah, that's it. Just a brief look. This is what we got planned. Um, go Xanthi coming up next, and after that we're going to be finishing Quasar. Maybe sometime between then I might squeeze this thing out. But I do also have a cooperative build going on with an X-Wing. I'm not going to show that just yet because it's still quite a work in progress, but I say I'm, I definitely like it. Uh, it really feels like an X-Wing the way it flies, and it's got a good aesthetic to it. So maybe I'll give an update on that later. But for the time being, that's it, folks. And I'll catch y'all later. Life Force out. Hello, folks. If you enjoy my content, if you enjoy my builds, please consider becoming a patron today. As a patron, you get access to custom builds of release works, early access to some builds before they hit the workshop, exclusive builds, you also gain access to direct feedback and engagement through polls, idea suggestions regarding builds before and after workshop release. If this interests you, please check out the pinned comment below. Thank you.